Hello guys, my name is Jakub Kisiel and today I'll show you my newest Sword and Shield Animated Pro package uh, with over 100 animations for Sword and Shield fighting uh, and two controllers for player and uh, enemy with AI. Uh, it's all done with Playmaker of course, so you need Playmaker to use the controller, but you actually don't need Playmaker to use the animations. So, um, even if you don't use Playmaker, but intend to uh, build your own controller and use it in your own game, uh, then uh, you can just get the package and use all the animations. I divided them in three parts, uh, so they're a little bit lighter, and there are multi-take files, um, so yeah. Uh, let me just get rid of this window here. All right, uh, and here you can see the animations. So um, here it is. Um, and today, actually, this is, will be a short tutorial. I'll show you how to replace the models of these dummies to your own uh, with your own characters. Uh, so here's the player. Those are enemies. And maybe first let's see how it looks. All right, so here's the game. You can walk, you can run, right? Hit combos. The camera bumps to walls, as usual. Pretty much bulletproof. Oh, yeah. Let me just deal with this guy. Can dodge, and you can. Ah. He's dead. Uh, right, so let me just escape. All right, so how to change these models to um, to your own? Uh, for this purpose, I chose an. Oh, uh, for this person, I chose uh, Robot Carol and my own armored guy. So let's let's change the player model to the armored guy. Um, let me just drag and drop him here. And here's the player sword prefab. Let's just parent it. Just parent it. That's our that's our old model, right? So uh, you need to remember that he has um, character controller and character motor motor. Um, so movement without physics. And sword and shield, we could use that. First, first of all, let me just zero the position. Zero, zero, yeah. And of course, oh, I added this this little things, so you don't don't forget what to do. Um, now, sort. Let me just unhook it for for a moment. I'll just uh, wait. I'll just parent it to, to his hand. Let's find the hand, the hips. Spine, final arm, right through the right arm. Right hand. Alright, that's the sword. Okay, my characters have, have this prop bone, but you can easily just parent it to your to the hand of the character, to the bone of the hand. And then let's adjust the sword. Zero it out. Yeah. And then more or less you you will um, fix it later. So we'll just adjust it more or less. So the character holds it, holds the sword. Yeah. Okay. Now the shield. So right arm, left arm. Shield to the left hand. All right, and let's just move move it so it looks like he holds it.
it's a little bit tricky and to to get it from the first time all right he holds it this uh, shield has a collider and this collider is for knocking enemies down so you actually don't want to lose this, lose this. So if you have your own shield, you could just disappear, this mesh, like, uh, boom, and you can just um, parent your own shield to to this shield, or just copy this collider. Uh, all right, so we have sword and shield on our character. And the last thing is, oh, let me just, go. oh yeah, and uh, I think that was helpful a little bit. Okay, um, so our dummy also had a uh, kick collider on the right foot. And this is very. This is for knocking out enemies with the kick. So let's just find the foot of the the other character and just do the right foot and zero out the position and rotation because why not? Now this dummy has a tag player and all these components. So all these components must be on our new character. So let's delete this guy, or let's select him and first let's tag him that that's our new player, right? Then component, let's see, character motor, alright, so we go to our new character, component, character, add character motor. Now it has a capsule, right? So we go back, we see the capsule has like 99. And one eighty, and, and let's just copy all those uh, values one eight radius of zero six, and yeah, what else? This little playmaker FSM, this is this is something I wanted to avoid, but it actually is needed on the character uh, to read the notifies from animations so you, ha you have to have it there and I wanted to make it easy for you so we just go to we just select our new character go to playmaker right we go to playmaker and we just right click add template you know and here are two templates that you can add Add to enemy, add to player. We just, of course, we're doing the player now, so we add the player model, and that's it. That's it. We go back to scene. This is disappeared. Uh, we delete the dummy. Delete, and then there's all the referencing that we we must do. Player sword, and we go to um, playmaker, right? Ah, to update we have to click. So playmaker and this root of the of our player character, player sword. And here's this yellow node here. The first start state. That's loading, right? So you you have this this actions here and let's scroll to referencing stuff. So your object with animator components. We need to reference it. So that's our new character here. See, animator. So let's just drag and drop him here. So that's the first step. Feet bone. We you need to reference reference the right foot bone and the left foot bone. So the controller knows which foot is in the air at the moment. So he can. Uh, so the controller can decide uh, which stopping animation to play. So we just. Let's just find the legs, left leg, left foot, 
your new character probably also have, has feet. I mean, he has to have feet to be humanoid. So let's just reference. This is the left foot bone, right leg. This is the right foot bone. So um, that's pretty much it. In the loading state, actually, we can change also the player's health. It's four. Ah, let's make it easy for. Her. Let's change it to ten. So and stamina. That's the yellow bar. Stamina decides uh, how many uh, hits can you block before you start getting damage. So let's go and seven. Why not? So now we are way more powerful than uh, the enemies. So one last thing. Oh, I already changed attack to player. So um, yeah, one last thing. The controller is missing. So let's go. Mechanism, player sword. Uh, actually, I called it player sword, but it also is a controller for enemies. So, yeah, that's our player. Here we go. Let's see if it works. I hope it works. Hello, hello. Yeah. Oh. Probably sword needs some adjusting. It doesn't cut straight, so looks like it looks like this, and a little bit up. Maybe like this a little bit. Let's check. Um, better, but still not precise. Ah! Yeah, but you know what I mean with this adjusting. So, for example, if you do this. Completely different stuff. If you do this, also different behavior. Let's just overdo it for a moment. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing now. So um, I strongly suggest you add to your character this little bone right hand prop right it's baked in the animation so if you add it if you you can actually copy the, this bone you can unhook it from my character and add to your, your character and if you zero out the sword to this bone it's, it looks funny now but in the game the sword will be exactly like it should be So uh, that's it for now. Actually, uh, I was going to do the enemy, but you do it exactly the same way. Exactly the same way. So uh, that's it for now. Thanks.